YouTube's war against ad blockers began in earnest in late 2023, but by 2025, they implemented a comprehensive global restriction system that affects millions of users worldwide. When YouTube detects an ad blocker, users see this warning message. Video player will be blocked after three videos. This is YouTube's way of giving users a final warning before completely restricting access to content. YouTube employs three primary detection methods. First, JavaScript analysis examines how your browser executes code. Second, network request monitoring checks if advertising requests are being blocked. Third, DOM manipulation detection looks for changes to ad-related page elements. This restriction isn't limited to just one platform. YouTube consistently enforces the three-video limit across web browsers, mobile applications, and even smart TV apps. This comprehensive approach ensures users can't simply switch devices to bypass the restriction. The ultimate goal of this restriction is to drive users toward YouTube premium subscriptions. By blocking ad-free viewing through ad blockers, YouTube creates a funnel that pushes users to pay for premium, which offers legitimate ad-free viewing along with additional features like background play and offline downloads. When you encounter YouTube's ad blocker detection, remember that this is part of a calculated business strategy. The platform uses sophisticated detection methods to identify ad blocking and then limits access to encourage premium subscriptions. Understanding this system is the first step toward finding effective solutions. Here are several proven methods to bypass YouTube's ad blocker detection, ranging from simple quick fixes to advanced technical solutions. The first approach involves simple browser fixes. Clear your browser's cache, cookies, and site data specifically for YouTube, then restart your browser completely. You can also try using incognito or private browsing mode with extensions disabled. These methods have a 70 to 80% success rate for temporary relief. The second method involves configuring your ad blocker properly. Update your filter lists to the latest versions and add YouTube-specific filter rules. Popular alternatives include uBlock Origin and AdGuard, which often have better detection evasion. You can also configure custom blocking rules for more precise control. DNS level blocking is more advanced and harder for YouTube to detect. Services like AdGuard DNS and NextDNS block ads at the network level before they reach your browser. This method works across all devices on your network and doesn't require browser extensions, making it much more difficult for platforms to detect. Here's how to set up NextDNS. Create a free account, configure your filtering profiles to block ads and trackers, then set the NextDNS servers on your device or router. Enable the appropriate ad blocking filters and all devices on your network will benefit from ad blocking that's invisible to YouTube's detection systems. Finally, you can use alternative YouTube clients that bypass the platform's restrictions entirely. NewPipe for Android is open source and completely ad-free. FreeTube provides a privacy-focused desktop experience, while Invidious offers a lightweight web interface. These alternatives access YouTube's content without triggering ad blocker detection, though you should always download from official sources and check app permissions for security. These four methods provide a comprehensive toolkit for bypassing YouTube's ad blocker restrictions. Start with the simple browser fixes for immediate relief, then move to more advanced solutions like DNS level blocking for long-term effectiveness. Remember that this is an ongoing arms race, so staying updated with the latest techniques and tools is essential for continued success.